Hi, today I want to talk to you about a very important topic and that is cash flow. What is cash flow and how can you make sure that cash flow is flowing in your business? Tineke Rense, I'm from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business and guarantee to double their business within a year. How cool is that? So how about cash flow? Cash flow is the liquidity in your business so that you can always pay for the bills, all right? So that you have enough money to pay for your bills. So you always need to make sure that more money comes in your business than goes out your business. So you need to have enough clients who pay you enough money to cover all your monthly expenses plus your salary. Okay? Now what are some things that you need to look at when you want to make sure that you have a good and steady cash flow? Tip number one. I always work with my clients on creating a financial plan. So when you have a financial plan, you forecast how much money you believe will be coming into your business and how much money you believe that you will need to pay. And the last one, that's something you can predict because you know what your expenses are. You can also forecast uh, things that you're not sure about yet, so unforeseen expenses. Um, knowing how many clients you will get is not always very easy. So that is something you forecast and then you create monthly targets and those targets you need to meet. And every month you check, did I have enough new clients coming in? If not, you need to work on either your sales or your lead generation or your offer. Okay, or maybe your service because they don't stick with you. Tip number two, you always need to make sure you have enough paying clients. It makes sense, eh? um, but it's not always that easy. But so your focus has to be on getting enough paying clients. All right. Tip number three is regularly check in your accounting if people do pay in time. If your clients don't pay in time and you still need to pay all your annually or monthly expenses, then at some point you might have no money in your bank account to pay the bills, even though you have enough clients and even though you invoice enough. Tip number four. You need to make sure that you send your invoices regularly. A minimum is once a month, but I encourage every time you sign up a new client, immediately send the invoice. And when you have recurring clients, where well, you can invoice once a week, there's no problem about that, but um, not everybody wants to do that because they don't like their accounting. But that's very easy. You can automate that in your um, invoice system. If you know how much you need to bill every month that or every week, you can program that. You don't need to do that manually. You only need to do that once. Okay? Now what are some tips to make sure that the money is flowing? So you need to make sure that it is coming in all the time. There's tip number A. If you invoice big amounts, you need to uh, discuss with your clients that they pay ahead. Part of it they need to pay ahead. Sometimes it's just a down payment, but sometimes it's also uh, a little more because you start to work. It's really not necessary that you uh, send your invoice when all the work is done. That's what the big companies want you to, and that's what they made you believe that is normal, but hey, it's you who is in the lead. So you can determine when you send the invoice, okay? Tip number B, invoice regularly. I really um, encourage you to, in the beginning, to invoice weekly, 
but surely invoice monthly. Really, that is important because there are clients who pay 30 or 60 days later. So then it's three months that you need to wait for your money. And therefore, I always send my invoices a month ahead, up front. That's tip number C. So whenever it's possible, invoice up front. Tip number D, I've already told you about that. Automate your recurring invoices so that you don't need to worry about that anymore and you don't need to do the work all the time. It won't be forgotten. Tip number E is make sure that when they don't pay in time and you need to check this regularly, you need also a system that will send payment reminders automatically. So my bookkeeping program does that. So you need to make sure that you have an online bookkeeping program that does that. If you have a bookkeeper who needs to do that all the time, it's going to cost you too much money. So make sure that when you have a bookkeeper that you can access the program and you can do all these things. And don't get overwhelmed. If you don't know how to do it, ask them uh, so that you can do it. I just spoke to a client this morning and she now does the invoicing herself because her bookkeeper just waited until she had quite a few of invoices and then she did it all at the same time. And my client had a cash flow problem. So that should not happen, okay? And tip number F, if everything does not work, there's no harm in working with a debt collector's agency. Often they work no cure, no pay. So when they cannot collect the money, you don't need to pay them anything. And it really helps. Every now and then, a couple of times a year, I need to hire a debt collector's agency I always use the same one, so I know how they work, they have an online system, I can check in, I can see what actions they've took, have they called, did they send uh, um, an email, have they sent a letter, or have they sent a notice, anything. So that's also the last thing that you do when they don't collect, but be, when they don't pay. But before that, of course, you've tried everything else and you've talked to them personally. All right, I hope this has helped. So this is only one tiny little thing about running a business. And running a business is hundreds of things. So, and you need to be good at all of those things. Now, is that possible? No, it's not. But business does require that you either know how it works or you have people who know how it works. So let me help you. I can help you with whatever area you have in business. And how am I so sure? Because I've been doing that the past 10 years and I have already 31 years of my own business experience. I've had multiple businesses and sold. So if you're interested in having a quick 15 minute call with me, you can find the link below here in the video and you just schedule the call. I will not be selling you anything. It's just 15 minutes and within these 15 minutes, we check, hey, do we like each other? Are we a match? Can I even help you? And if I can, I will guarantee you on writing that I can help you double your income within a year. I can only do that when you have a business to business service oriented business. So you work with other businesses and you offer a service. Now I hope this video has helped you a lot and I'm looking forward to inspire you again next week with my weekly video with again lots of other tips on a topic that business women really need to help to grow their business. Bye bye.